However, both are super important for health, body composition, and performance. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zach Casey here with a new episode of Chalk Talk. Today we're going to be talking about why you're still fat. Uh, my first point is dietary fat does not equal body fat. I've been asked this a lot. Hey Zach, if I eat dietary fat, is it going to turn into fat into my body? Or maybe will it prefer it as an energy source in my body? Dietary fat is not the same as body fat. Now if you eat a lot of dietary fat, your body may use this as the preferred energy resource, but not always. Let me kind of go into the science of how this works. When you eat food, guys, and your body doesn't need it right away, it goes to your liver and your muscle and is stored in the form of glycogen. When your glycogen is maxed out and you continue to eat, your body goes ahead and takes that energy and stores it in adipose tissue as body fat. Okay? Now, if you eat dietary fat, your body may use it as a preferred energy source if your glycogen isn't already full. But if you eat it, it's not necessarily going to turn into body fat unless if you're in a caloric surplus and your body has nothing to do with those calories. And that goes for protein and carbohydrates as well, not just dietary fat. You could be eating anything. It's going to turn into dietary fat if it's at a surplus. Your body doesn't need it. Okay? Getting into point two. Weights are greater than cardio. Well, what do I mean? Cardio is really effective at burning fat, especially if it's high-intensity interval training that's creating an oxygen deficit. But... This is only a short-lived period of caloric expenditure. You're in the gym for 45 minutes or an hour, you're only really burning calories while you're there doing cardio and for maybe a few minutes or hours after if it was an intense workout session. Whereas with weights, if you're weight training, you're putting on lean muscle mass and as long as you maintain it with diet and sleep, you're gonna now have a system that burns you calories without even exercising the next day. Your body's increased its basal metabolic rate and now requires more calories on a daily basis just to maintain that lean muscle mass, which is awesome. And that's why if you're trying to lose body fat, I say sway a little more on the weight side than cardio. However, both are super important for health, body composition, and performance. My last point, calories in need to be less than calories out. Now, where this equation gets kind of tough is, calories in is really only the food that you're consuming or the drink, anything that has calories. Whereas calories out is your basal metabolic rate, your non-exercise activity, like when you're talking and moving your hands or um, just walking around on a daily basis. Um, and then if you have any thermogenic foods or drinks or anything you consume like caffeine that are also going to burn calories just by consuming them. Um, so make sure when you're calculating this equation, it needs to be less on the side of what you're bringing in on than what you're bringing out. Okay. Now, if you're trying to lose body fat about a pound a week, what you want to do is be between 500 to 700 calories under your maintenance calories on a daily basis, and you'll burn around 3,500 calories a week, which equates to about a one pound of body fat. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and check out my social links below.